தான் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் மதுரை வெல்கம்ஸ் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் லெக்சர் சீரீஸ் ஆன் வேர்ல்டு ஹெரிட்டேஜ் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் டுடே லெக்சர் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் ஆன் த டாபிக் இன்டேஞ்சிபிள் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் ஆஃப் இந்தியா தமிழ்நாடு வில் பி டெலிவர்ட் பை ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட் ஹிஸ்டரி அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் டாக்டர் ஆர் வெங்கட்ராமன் First of all, what's the intangible and what is tangible? So in our, all over the world, every nation has its heritage, tangible as well as intangible. Tangible, that which can be touched. The buildings mostly, the buildings, the maybe secular buildings, like palaces, forts and all that, or sacred buildings like uh, mm, mm, temples, mosques, churches, um, sepulchers, they are all, we call them as uh, sacred. Intangible denotes the, the music, the dance. <coughs> we perform it, then we uh, uh, disperse. Once again, if you want to see that, we had to assemble the performer as well as the spectator. We had to assemble. So we assemble, see them, enjoy them and go back. And in this, we have a long list, I have shown that list also, it's not exhaustive. But however, that list we are going to see. Then, uh, uh, it, well, this is the intangible cultural heritage for that, that UNESCO logo is that. Next one. Well, a few of the titles in intangible I have written, but generally speaking, it applies to the Pan-India level as well as the international level. The folk tales, proverbs and folk riddles, folk songs during agricultural operation and folk weddings. And we have got a lot of songs during the wedding in our villages. Uh, cutting jokes on the uh, uh, bride and the bridegroom. The bridegroom people will, uh, or, or a lady will come forward to sing songs and uh, ridiculing Uh, 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 the, the girl and the girl's society will come and say about the boy, the wedding groom and that will be very interesting and they are not written and committed to memory and some old people, they sit down and sing improvised in extemporaneously and that will be very fine and that tradition is there in Andhra also during my brother's wedding a lady from Andhra, she improvised Then and there she sang songs uh, and it was a very fine one. Uh, everyone can enjoy that, okay, a uh, harmless film of folk songs during agricultural operation. During the time of the sowing of the seed, during the time of the reaping, thrashing, collecting, at every stage they have. Because for them, it is not an agricultural, lifeless agricultural operation. It's full of life. Not only the people who are operating that, but also the mother earth. The seed, the malai parino, the seed, it's a sprouting. At every stage, they treat it as though it's a child, a mother. It is pregnant. It has delivered the child. Thus, you can see behind it. If, if you only have an open mind and open your ears to listen to the song at the verbal method that they sing, with an amount of dedication, devotion they will be singing. So for them, it is a great tapasya, or it is a penance. It is not an economic activity. There is no such thing as the economic, political and all. These divisions are later. For the primitive man, everything is sacred. The whole cosmos is sacred. Here I would like to drive home two words. One is the primitive man. When I say primitive, it might have acquired some unnecessary connotation in modern times. But Uh, in in academic circle, the word primitive is associated with primary or pioneering. That has been the earliest one, the path setter or the trend setter, the earliest one, therefore venerable, enjoy wealth. So the primitive people all over the world can be divided into two. One is pre-verbal. primitive culture. Pre-verbal primitive culture where language is not developed. 
But still, they will be communicating their ideas. The communication will be either by gesture or by dance, this and that, like animals do. You might have seen two squirrels playing, jumping over all the other, chasing and all that. They don't employ language. All animals and birds, they are very happy. They are playing and communicating also. The communication you can see, free language communication. That's one thing. The one which you are going to see, which I call as the Tamil intangible culture here, that's uh, mostly the free, not literate, literate with the letter. When the words have come into being, uh, this one, these traditions go back to the very holy past. We can't say how ancient they are. They are very, very ancient. Even before the languages came into being, these things have come into being. And another one, one is pre-literate. In the pre-literate, I take up the Vedas. It's only chanting. There was a time when they did not know how to write. So, pre-speech and the pre-letter. These two stages we are taking. For the pre-speech is earlier than the pre-Vedic. Therefore, the pre-Vedic traditions are, you can see them being enacted by people or the I mean, uh, uh, the, the theatre, or uh, what, what is the theatre that we are going to see. Now, therefore, I am not going to talk on folk tales, proverbs, riddles, that will take one full day. Okay. At least two full hours are needed to. They, I mean, folk songs during agriculture operation also, we can correct and display and uh, talk about them. And the best way, you know, you have to go to the field and see, see them, enjoy them there. Then again, rich variety of folk ritual for rain bringing and many many rituals to ward up epidemics. Well, it is on these folk ritual dances that I am focusing today. Then you have got variety of folk games. No, we are not. I mean, we can say the folk entertainment, folk ritual entertainment. That's the focus of the today's speech. We have a lot, lot of handicrafts like a bronze making in Tamil Nadu, the lost wax process in Swami Malay, the famous, uh, 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 what do you call, Sire Perdu, in French it is called, Sire Perdu, that is uh, being uh, uh, followed in uh, Swami Malay even today, then Sukadi Sari weaving of Madurai, basket making, uh, making, pottery, the list is very, very long. That's also not the focus of today, and we can go on speaking, if we can pick up one or the other and elaborate on them. Later, the puns of Tevaram, Thiruvachakam, Divya Prabhupada, the writers. That's very, very important. Tamil Nadu, the pun tradition is very ancient. And uh, and they are, they are known right from the time of the pun. The pun, the pun tradition is very, very ancient. And the pun tradition of um, uh, um, um, uh, uh, Sangam age is uh, what you call, not the folk variety. It is the elitist variety. Okay, the pun tradition is highly elitized, and uh, from that pun tradition only later with uh, amalgamating other traditions, we have what goes by the name of Carnatic music. You know, it comes from the pun tradition. Therefore, Carnatic tradition owes to pun tradition, and the pun tradition is a refined way, variety of the folk music tradition. Fortunately, they are there even today. You can see them. At the time of a Mulai party, a lady will be singing songs, improvising songs then and there, extemporaneously, and set to some music, which will be very, very simple, like the Vedic chant, the same tune. And uh, for the uninitiated, it may sound monotonous. Why? Vedas are also monotonous. The earliest will think all will be monotonous. Even in Vedas, you know, the Rig Veda was a set of music. It is originally it has got only three notes. How long can you be hearing three notes only? Therefore, they improvise the two more notes, and that becomes the Sama Veda. And the Sama Veda also you can't tolerate. Only five notes. And the similar one is that what is known as the Gregorian chant of the Western no? They are maintaining that and the Sama Veda and uh, the Lalahi, they are so, they are all chants. That is the music. It will be very flat, not refined. 
but it has an appeal to the rightly tuned heart. If you go without prejudices, if you open the mind without prejudice, it has a greater impact upon our soul rather than the refined music with the Stalam, Ragam and Parma. This is a preliminary one. Okay. Now, uh, the Panthevaram tradition is fortunately and uh, the Divya Prabhupadam has lost its uh, tradition. They are only in print, but uh, it is not set into sort of Vedic chant like thing, they have been transformed. Fortunately, the Tevaram tradition is being preserved by the Oduvas uh, all over Tamil Nadu. And the West is there in uh, Tindanvay. Those Tanjavur is uh, making a lot of attractiveness. But uh, it has its own way, pure, pure variety, if you want to see, without any amalgamation of all. Uh, in the influence of other, other music, that free from other influence, that purity you can see in Tindal Valley more rather than in, uh, in, uh, in Tanjavur. Because Tanjavur, Sarfoji period and all that, lot of uh, other musics came into being and this old words, you know, they wanted to get their name become, with, with a view to win popularity, they uh, associated them also slightly here and there. Therefore, my ears are uh, more convenient uh, with uh, that uh, uh, Tirnalveli chant rather than Tanjau. Uh, uh, well, then you have got the Arayar Seve tradition where the Nalayar Divya Prabhupadam is told and the Arayar he says in his own way and he enacts. And the enactment you have to see how the very old was a song. The child is taken by the mother and it is held and then he has only one a long cap and a prop and no he will, if you have got the imagination in all these things, you know, what is very much required of the audience is not a sort of a very pliable, a plastic mind to take the shape. Immediately have to go back to that age. You have to transform yourself to a primitive man. If you are, if you are what you call a uh, rigid, now fashions and other things, you know, what they goes by the name civilization, culture, they have made us rigid and we say have a set pattern. It has to be like that. No. It is a very fluid, it is very original, it is coming like a fresh water from the spring and to appreciate that, it requires an amount of what you call an inner culture, I will say, and openness of the mind. There you can enjoy the Laraya will bring before your eyes the child the Krishna, the naughty fellow, and the mother are appealing to the child, all these things, you know, they are all very well, they have to be maintained. And the Vedic chant as maintained in Tamil Nadu. So all over India from Kashmir to Cape Cod, the Vedas are being chanted. In Tamil Nadu, the purest form is there in Tamil Nadu, which many of the Tamil people do not know. Okay, in, the, in, in Kerala, that there is sort of a national tone, wherever Ta has to come, they make it a Da, the, the spelling mistakes will be quite in their pronunciation. Purity of pronunciation you have to see only in Tamil Nadu that's being maintained. And in their maintenance, the role played by the kings and then subsequently the Chittiyas and the temples uh, and, uh, and one of the best places where this chant is being well maintained is Pliyar Pati. Okay, these are all things we have to make. Now again I am telling you, I am going to tell you about the folk entertainment, folk ritual. What do they mean? Well, now, before going that, I'll have to tell Yes, let it. What is the significance of the intangible heritage? That's the thrust of their lecture today. We can see them, but behind every act there is a communication, a philosophy. And what it, what is it? Mostly, it is a non-verbal career of a community's philosophy of life. The early Tamil people's philosophy, common man. And after refinement, you have got this Siddhartha, that Vedanta, and all that, you know. All of them have their origin, whether it is the North Indian Vedanta or the South Indian Siddhartha, their roots go to this intangible culture, that is a non purple camera, I mean, this philosophy. The tacit philosophy, they don't say that tacit means you know. You have to understand that. All the living humans, Mother Nature, plus Mother Nature, plus gods, many, plus departed souls of our ancestors. 
they constitute one family living eternally. There is no death. Then what is life? Life and all for the evolved man, for the modern man, life has a point of origin in birth and ends in the death. Over. Oh. And the Puranas and other things will say it goes to the heaven or reincarnation or waiting for the last day of detriment. So much, whether it is last day of detriment or reincarnation. This question was raised by uh, one of the Archbishops, Arvagya Swami. He, he, he spoke to me. Uh, then I said, most conveniently you can reject the concept of Atma. There is no Atma. Then the problem is solved. He was shocked. Don't say that Atma. I say, there, there is no controversy here at all for them. It is an eternity. It is something like a great vessel where you have water or some liquid to circulate. It goes on circulating. Now ask me whether it is a static or dynamic. This is a question. The water in the vessel is there, static for apparent purpose, and if you see them, they are going round and round with you. Well, this is what the primitive man thought about it, for which he has not coined a word. And we use the word universe, and they, for them, the right word, I mean, found out by the anthropologist Cosmos. We have both the words. Nataraja's dance is called the cosmic dance of Nataraja. What is Cosmos? What is universe? What is the difference between it? And universe is a physical term. It means about the physical universe. It doesn't speak about that life. This object belongs to that. Because it has no life. We all belong to that. But we are subjected to death. What happens afterwards to our soul? Where is the soul? Yes, there is a soul. There is no soul. All these controversy come into being there. Then those who accept the soul, where does it go? They don't go to these philosophies at all. They don't raise questions and they come out only with the answer, their acceptance, their view of the world. It is cosmos, it is the universe throbbing with life. Everything has life. They don't die. They change from one position to another, which from our mundane point of view, we call it a death. There is no such thing as death. They live. Therefore, this is a world where all nature has a life. Every tree has a spirit. Benign. Or some, sometimes, like us, it is also, some spirit is also virtuous. Because all the attributes you can see in human, you can see them in them, in them also. Then, after the death, the soul, the body, we enter them and the soul is somewhere lingering. Proof. Now and then I see my father coming in my dream. My great grandmother comes and tells me a story. Therefore they are alive. With this physical I am not able to see. When I go to sleep, mentally I see them. This is their proof. They don't question. Therefore all those whom we consider are gone. The departed souls, Pithrus, we say in Sanskrit, the Pithrus, Pithrus cult, for example, in Tamil also it is accepted. And all these Pithrus are there somewhere. And they are watching us. And whether you are, whenever you are conducting a wedding for your children, you call them up, call for their blessing. Invisibly they are giving us our help. They are our invisible helpers. They are somewhere. The fact that we are not able to see them doesn't mean that they don't exist. Why for that matter, my palm is full of bacteria. I am not able to see. I can't deny it. Take a microscope, you can see. There are stars which are not visible. Take a telescope, you can see them. Therefore, our vision is not the proof of its existence or non-existence. This is how they have everything as its place. Everything, they are all there. Well, now, therefore, for them, the whole universe is a cosmos. Cosmos is an orderly universe, full of orderliness, and it responds to our. It is a communicable. I can't communicate with that. If I start communicating with that, you will say, modern man, what has happened? We knew there was a streaks of uh, lunacy was there. Now it has manifested totally. Dr. V has become totally insane today. 
But the primitive man forgave the water is alive. The, 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 the vessel is alive. Everything is alive for them. That they don't say. Because words divide, actions unite. Their mode of communication is silent communication. That communication by means of rhythmic dance. That you can see in the what you call folk dance system. And now, therefore they say the entire cosmos is divided into two. The external cosmos is called the macrocosm and every living being is a microcosm. Even if it is an ant or a bacteria, it is a microcosm. Because matter and soul together makes a cosmos. Every one of our body is matter and our soul is a spirit. And therefore this combination is everywhere. And this soul, it has a soul. James said even stones have a soul. They are right. Because they have acquired that idea from the primitive man. And now when you go above and above into Vedanta and Siddhanta, they are answers to the questions raised by, intellectually raised by the Sravanas or the wandering monks who denied God. For them, for the primitive man, there is no such thing as God separate from us. Everything is divine. For them, they don't use the word God. When you say God, it has been subjected to a lot of unnecessary interpretation, leading to a lot of heat rather than light. When you say sacred or the divine, okay, that is acceptable. Even deny divine, I don't accept, I deny. Sacred, something has to be sacred. My mother, her word is sacred to me. But Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhagra Nakal, that was sacred. He denied God, he prou proudly said, I am an atheist. But one man asked, don't you think it's Bakra Nakam? It's very sacred for me. He said, that is what we mean. <laughs> no man can live without a concept of sacred. Where lies your sacredity that you have to find out? In some corner. Because we have fathom, we are fathoming the whole world, universe. But we don't fathom our own minds. If you sit down and close our mind and then there, we can come up with a lot of words. Beautiful ideas are there embedded without our own knowledge, all that is needed in order to be get out of the prejudices, what to do. All cultures, civilizations are every day creating and enhancing our prejudices. It will be linguistic prejudices or the uh, what you call caste prejudice, religious prejudice. More and more and more and more. Therefore, we are all a dead walking animal, an object we have become. We have to go back to put that. My, my request is to put back that reverse gear. Go back to the primitive man. Become a primitive man. You can enjoy the stellar stars and then dance of the stars. Because every time they are dancing. For him, we think it is twinkling. No, they are dancing. For him, they are dancing. But then, therefore, now we are all becoming a primitive man. So that we can appreciate. So he said, all the living human, mother nature, God, departed soul, constitute one family, living eternally. Therefore, life for us, the modern man, begins at one point and ends at another point. There is neither a beginning nor an end for the souls and the human. We take different shapes. After death, I may become a bird and fly. Understand? Therefore, Man, in, I mean, therefore, that's why the reason you are giving food to the kakai. Kakai is not a messenger between uh, 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 me and my father. My father comes like a kakai. My grandfather comes there. We are feeding them, they are eating, we are happy about it. So, modern man thinks it is a sort of intermediary, and the presumption being that there is a flow of all these are there negative, negation and the division are anti-pure rationalism. The so-called rationalism, denying things or dividing things are not rational. They are rational only in word. Real rationalism in, I have to find out for the primitive man. That's what we are going to see later. Now, what I am going to see now, this will give you a sort of prelude to appreciate the pictures we are going to see. Man in entertains the macrocosm. When I see macrocosm, it includes all the trees around, the birds, the reptiles, the forefathers, they are very important because
they are the earliest god known to man and again i will say my father's enemy who who attacked my father and killed that man is also also i see in my dream for me my soul is god he is rakshasa for his son his father is god and my father is rakshasa therefore one man's meat is another man's poison is a well known problem one man's god is another man's demon it is another man's devil the same if you go more and more into this anthropological delving into the mind of the primitive man for him okay my father my forefathers therefore they choose to remain in a society sheltered society with fence and for them all the departed souls of that particular community they are their gods when okay. well, man entertains the gods macrocosm and the entertainment is their prayer the entertainment is their ritual the entertainment is the yaga and the entertainment is the puja okay we don't believe in this uh, vedic sacrifice nothing is lost i don't believe in puja no loss that shows my ignorance whenever you are denying anything we are not denying that we are asserting that i am inadequate our inadequacy is established and the man entertains the macrocosm how does he entertain that is what you are going to see from the point of view of the people of tamil country the, the so called uneducated illiterate we call them they are i will say they are primitive the primary they are the pioneer of our country well and the humans entertain and the rest best what what is the rest the macrocosm the microcosm entertains the macrocosm responds us happily showering their grace whatever you need it gives and the primitive man after putting up the tree used to go and embrace it and after giving the fruit he will go and stand up he take it and go to the shop to sell to the market we don't consider this as a life thing which has helped us we never say thanks to the tree at all but where does he say thanks to the tree and it appears very primitive to us the primitive man doesn't and at least vedas are verbal therefore to that extent it is low these people never say that they go and help and they kiss it okay and human said and in shark for the primitive man all over the world and in tamil nadu also we are after language we are divided language divides every concept of us now as the seed to di- further division and the fragmentation the whole humanity is fragmented now nature is unique it is observing us everything is a, is in harmony but man alone is creating the disharmony and we don't know we are the butt of ridicule by the birds and the creatures and even the rat in our house if they are they are they able to understand poor man okay they will talk about us as a the monkeys will say there goes the poor man and you see all men pet us they will be looking down upon us but in return we are having a self satisfaction we look down at all the animal no we are worse than that that we have to realize life in short according to the primitive man is a celebration it is an eternal joy dukkha or the suffering etc is own creation buddha said the life is suffering he is wrong if you ask him vedanta he will also pay fall in line with him don't ask these people reject vedanta reject siddhanta reject the buddha reject the madhavara mahavira go to these people they give you the preliminary lesson which if you expand properly with the correct level <laughs> level you can enjoy the life very much that's what we are going to see so this introduction i don't know whether i have done it satisfactorily whether you agree with them i do not know but the subsequent films will uh, uh, explain okay next sir well the first one there is no god no temple the entire cosmos is the temple we are part of it the sky the temple the human temple that's the sky 
as wide as the sky. The sky is as wide as the sky. And all our forefathers, they are there. They are looking at us, willing to bless us. They are enjoying our happiness and feeling sad about our sadness. Well, and they are received early in the morning, just before the day dawns, the mother of the house. I used to say religion was implemented by women. Man destroys. Women, they are the real creator. And man has to, man later undertakes the responsibility of protecting them. Real creation starts from the woman. Therefore, the world belongs to the woman and women and man is there to assist them. He is only a chela. He is a what you call it, a bear. Cosmos, I said, you know, it is a, it, it, in the macrocosm, one microcosm, Consisting of millions of microcosms like us. And they may be a reptile, a mother, a bird, a human. This or that. Then in Tamil Nadu, in the lecture there for the North Indian I spoke them, you have the Rangoli. Rangoli, colorful Rangoli is a replica of the spring season. But this column is the replica of the entire cosmic orderliness, of which the spring season is a part. I mean, I mean, driving all the point right. Do you follow what I say? Before I wake you, you can. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, she puts a central dot, then following number of dots around it, then she connects them all together. If you take it as a family, all the members of the family, the newcom maplai are the corner. This is also there. For her, she does in the morning, integrating all into a beautiful wholeness. What a beautiful idea. We do it. That do it, they feel it and they do it. But they don't verbally communicate. And if we take for granted, ah, the will fall of water, it is another. It is not the size of the column. It is the philosophy of the column. Even if it is a small one with four dots. You are integrating everyone. Nothing is outside. Everything is brought within. And what is beauty they ask. And uh, this was a great question. They were, they were, they were, they were, philosophy has four or five divisions. One is the ethics. And another is logic. And another is the aesthetics. The fourth division is uh, uh, what you call metaphysics. India always dabbles with metaphysics only. And later they wrote a amount of uh, ethics and all that. And the third one is called the aesthetics, where the question is what is beauty? Because philosophy must transcend. It is not poetry. Poetry is full of feeling. The primitive man's vision of the world is poetic vision. It is integral vision. And the philosophy divides. Poetry unites. Understand? It is out, born out of the full feeling. And now, when it is, I mean, and what is beauty for this question? For everyone, his own husband or wife or children, they are beautiful. Therefore, beauty becomes a subjective. It is a subjective matter. But philosophy is always has to treat the objectivity. Therefore, they, they were not able to solve this question. This was a very naughty question for them. Ultimately, Aristotle came out with the question, with the answer that symmetry is beauty. In India, they said, everything is beauty provided it is in their place. Everything in its place is beautiful. What you call the broomstick is also beautiful provided it is in the corner. I can't put it on the table. Then it is ugly. The ice on the forehead, just below the forehead is beautiful. Imagine Vagan Raman having two eyes, one here and another there. How will it look like? More awkward. Understand? So, everything in its place is beautiful. This is the idea. Yeah. Yet that is the primitive man's mode of communication. That's the way, that's what he communicates also. Yes, everything has its place and you have to see them. And they have to be beautifully integrated by means of them. So, Kolam is the Earliest to way of communication between the microcosm and the macrocosm, and that was done by the women. 
early in the morning, just before the day dawns. And the dawning of the day is part of the cosmic orderliness. Here, this is also orderliness. What is beauty? Orderliness is beauty. Everything is playing in its place, it's orderliness. That orderliness, they, they make it in the, I mean, in front of the house. And later we are interpreting, it is a sort of invitation for the house is happy. All of you, those who are willing to have your food, you may come here. If there is no problem for, for one month, they will come and ask what has happened to some tragedy. So, it is an expression of the joy of the home that everything is in, uh, happy in the family. There is no calamity. If there is one calamity for one full year, we don't want to go Understand? That is the communication. Therefore, I chose this as the excellent one, a symbol of cosmic order. The sacred is all pervasive. It is not the God. When I say God is all pervasive, he asked me, there are very late. For the primitive man, sacrality is everywhere. If your mind is pure, that is sacred. And its power pervades everywhere. And the sacred is cosmos, full of sacred. And that is all pervasive. That is being welcomed by this demon folk in front of the house. And every house will, will be having, the whole street will look very beautiful. We are beautifying the home. We are beautifying the street. Everywhere it must be beautiful. Because Mother Nature is full of beautiful, eternally useful. We become old and die. So we are part of the cosmos coming round. Mother Nature never becomes old. You eternally, and, and she is maintaining that youthfulness. The next one, when the next to God, they for them, the spirit of those who have sacrificed their life, the men, to protect a society, a habitation, from certain what you call evil influences like tiger has its own place in the forest. If it intrudes in the human settlement, that is, it has to be avoided. Therefore they go and a man who has fought against the tiger and in the process he gets killed. He kills the tiger and himself also gets killed. And he is, and thus we are political kutikal. The political kutikal is there in Kerala, in Tamil Nadu, in, uh, all over you can see and they are the gods and after the death, neither the police is gone, it is somewhere. The hero is always here. The hero is watching. He is our forefather. The earliest god for that particular community is that fellow. And here you can, again you can see, and he is, he has sacrificed his life in India, some skirmish. And they are holding the people, all the people, human level is this. And he becomes the reward. This is all, all nothing, you know the human. No, Perumal. Perumal, eh? You say, no? He is the God. Now I understand why God is called Perumal. The first man who died sacrificed his life willingly. And after death, he doesn't curse you. That's very important. Not only that, after his death, his wife, you know, she doesn't want to live. She enters into the buyer and sacrifices. This is called Sadikal. This is called Virakal. This is Sadi. And in, in, in the Nahavala Pudukote, that hill also you can see, they will be always blessing the people or they are holding a flower. For her, the fire is like a flower. We don't say she are entering the fire. Pukuli. And it is our mind that makes the cosmos. A mind in its own place can make a hell into a heaven. And a heaven into a hell. The heaven he will make it a hell. I want to go to hell as early as possible and make it a heaven, heavenly. <laughs> so okay, and here, this fellow also you can see. Here the woman's hand alone. A pillar, she is the cosmic pillar. That is the center of the cosmos. And you can create a cosmos by putting a plant, a planting a pole, we, which we call it Mugurtaka. Just before the wedding or any auspicious thing, the first thing all over the world, especially in India, more so in Tamil Nadu, we are going and we think 
We are the only people doing, others don't know anything, everybody does. They will take a, a, a pole and, uh, and paint it with the red and, and, and uh, white alternatively. The red is symbolizing the feminine side of the cosmos and the white is the masculine side of the cosmos with a sort of a cleft at the top, flower and all that. We make a pole and there are various mantras where they give you openly say, Oh, I am creating a cosmic pillar. Oh, the, all the divine forces assembled here. Understand? Well, and she becomes the cosmic pillar. It is uh, in Latin, it is called uh, 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 Axis Mundi. Mundus means the universe, the cosmos, that is the axis. And they are the well fought over after one. The women are propitiating, integrating themselves or interacting with the cosmos the space by means of polar. The men, by their heroism, therefore subsequent acts, these two have shown, and I am going to tell, show you the difference into the, I mean, the, uh, the, the viewpoint of the man towards the cosmos and the female for the cosmos. That the division, this is my, my, my uh, hypothesis. Uh, 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 let, let us go to the next one. Then, man, he is a... In a society, one man is... After the political, he becomes a hero, being killed by a tiger. Himself, he becomes like a tiger and he is propitiated by... One fellow will become tiger-like and the man also fight with the tiger like a tiger. A man learns the movement as to how to hunt. He learns it from the movements of the tiger. Only he can go and kill. Because tiger has got its own way of movements and all that. And that is being done on every year at least once. They have a sacred day. That day they are playing. And to see this, who comes? The tiger comes. The spirit of the man comes, the forefather. They are enjoying. These people are entertaining the, the invisible audience. Around them there will be the visible audience like you and I. For them that is immaterial, the secondary. Not immaterial, the secondary. For their primary focus there, for them. And thereby they show, still we retain. The hero, you have not died, laid down your life in vain. We have inherited that heroic spirit. Even now, we are ready to fight with the tiger and to protect this society which you sacrificed your life to protect. Am I making it clear? Very simple, but very effective. Very simple. And you know, a number of fellows, you know, this is an Andhra, they are making it right. And with big belly, and the belly also will be having that tiger like figure. There will be. And you now, it's a laughing tiger. <laughs> And you know, observing and imitating the hunting animals and the wooing male birds, that's the origin of dance. And you know, the dance has its origin in two roots. One, during the mating season, everything is there programmed. The whole nature is programmed except man because he has the free will. He can have his uh, sex any time he wants. But animals and birds don't do that. Either. They have been programmed that the seasonal, that is the right season, they will. And even there, they don't go and aggressively. They woo the female by showing their feathers and movement. Those movements are observed by the women folk. The women's dance, which is called in Sanskrit the Lasya. The Lasya dance is being learned by the women from the birds. And the tiger and other what you call predators, before attacking the prey, they can suddenly jump and kill. They don't do it. They make it play. They entertain the fellow. Hello, I have chosen you. I am going to eat. Okay, they will be making that. That fellow will run. This fellow will chase. He is sure he is going to be killed. He will be killed. He eats. And then thanks and goes. And this, and they kill only for eating. Only man kills indiscriminately. You are, we are killing those whom we are not going to eat. Therefore, we are murderers. Animals never commit murder. They kill, but it is not murder. Understand? Murder is not there in their dictionary. Well, now, 
This is a this are all the masculine way of propitiating or pleasing the four fathers. Here they have to see one thing: the female and the masculine and the feminine way of entertainment. Again, I will say all these are entertainment, all entertainments are prayers, all entertainments are communication. What is it that they communicate? Men folk communicated to the predecessors, the forefathers, the ancestors. We are still protecting the, the entire society, men folk, the children are all very happy because we are manly as you were. This is the communication for the departed soul. Today we take water and the pork and the start our dirty life. The earliest way of the Tarpana, and all that you know, it starts from here. This is Tarpana. You don't understand what is meant by the word Tarpana. The pleasing the forefathers, all these acts. Next one, and no female folk, they are concerned with the well being of the progeny. Men are concerned with the forefathers, and if you observe all these functions, and you can understand that. Man is always associated. Concerned, he has to communicate to the men folk, his grandfather, great grandfather. I am as alert and heroic as you were. As you protected, that community is yours. I am protecting on your behalf. That is the communication. Women folk, whatever they do, they are concerned with the progeny. Therefore, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Society is an unbroken chain. A long chain, like a garland like chain, where the present is only visible, the past is the inv invisible part, the future is also invisible, but without breaking the chain. Let it, let it multiply, let our tribe multiply that idea. Here again, you see a hero in the battle has fallen. Again, all Ard is Perumal. That means he is dying. In a game, if you come to some go to somebody's house thinking he is alive, but there there is a photographic garland. I am shocked. What has happened? What when did he pass away? To show that one man has passed away, we have a technique nowadays to put up a garland because we have got photograph. In those days there is no photograph. For the hero alone, they make a statue and the hero will be shown. Bigger than all the fellows, Perumal, and you know, after death, he goes to heaven dancing. This is from Karnataka. He goes with a Kavadi in hand because Kavadi is a carrying the weight, the responsibility, and going and laying them at the feet of the God. There he goes and becomes one with the, with the in Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu. For them, the great hero is Murugan. On high bosom, you have to see all men folk. They pierce them and go to show there's no pain. You fought with the tiger. It scratched all over, bleeding. Still, you didn't get discouraged. You didn't get discouraged. You know, you were still fighting. And that spirit is there in me. This is the communication. Understand? Well, and therefore they pierce. Preparedness to face any tiger or any danger. The men folk have to be always alert and ready to bear the pain to save this. Not to earn, not to earn uh, 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 prizes and all that. To save the society, that sacrifice. Sacrifice is the very the hero goes to the glory, dancing with the cavity and with his spouse. Naturally, the spouse goes with him. And the heavenly woman, they are the fly with the bearers. They are the, in the court of Indra. But they leave Indra. Oh, you are after all. These people that have laid their life, men and women, they are coming towards God. They come and what a meaningful idea, you see. She is one is it the Ramba, another is Tilotama, the most beautiful. But that fellow is not concerned with them. His mind is focused only on God. For him, the most beautiful is his wife. And now that by the sacrifice, she has become the most beautiful. Unparalleled. Well, next one. Well, here, Charlie kept on setting the bull. Again, it is as ancient as any culture in India. 
whether both in North and South, it has been there. In North India, in Mathura, they have the tradition of Krishna having tamed the bull. Okay, anything that attacks the bull. Yeah. And here, they become Murugan or Krishna. Okay. And you know, they are, we, we, we think today they are torturing the bull. No, it is a friendly game between them. The modern man is not able to appreciate the relation between the two. If he wins, he gets the glory and he thanks it. You have, you have brought out the glory in me. You have brought out the heroism in me. Therefore, it is a friendly act and this delicato is again a message to not only the people around, the visible spectators, to the invisible spectators that we are, their forefathers were great delicato heroes. We continue the tradition. The traditional continuity is being displayed by them. Here again, they are entertaining and they are enjoying. That's full of joy. Those who participate in it, they derive joy. The spectators have joy. Everywhere it is joy. There is no sorrow. Therefore, life becomes a celebration. We have a calendar. At least monthly twice, we will be celebrating. And the celebrations become or a sort of joy and entertainment and life is a full of celebration. It is not Dukkamaya. That's the reason why Buddhism and Jainism, in spite of his finest philosophy, could not stand here because these people will pity them. Why are you torturing your body meaninglessly? You are torturing your body for getting your emancipation. We don't bother about our emancipation, our liberation, our bocha mukti. The society, the kind, are you able to see the difference between the focal focal point of the focus of the primitive man is the society, not one's own liberation. The next one, Silambo, the martial art. Again, the this is played not to entertain the visible spectators. Again, for the forefathers, this is a ancient tradition. That the tradition, whenever they are doing it, they are thinking of them, imbibing that spirit and exhibiting to everyone. The cosmic, it is for the cosmos. Even though the word cosmos is very important for us. Next one. Uh, in the previous level, I have written it. Previous level. One more one. One more one. One more one. One to please the ancestral heroes. That's why it is done to please. That's very important. The Shalambam, a martial art, to please the ancestral heroes. Every region has got one way or other. That's the why today I wanted the students of, of the Tata uh, uh, heritage, I mean, or, uh, to see them and to tell out information from their region and we can. Uh, Compare notes. Because we can never say one region is so superior to the all regions are superior. Fundamentally, their emotion are all alike. Their message is alike. Its manifestation will differ. The difference will be in the exhibiting. Understand? In some places it may be stick, in some places it may be sore. The difference, but mankind all over the world has been very common in their approach to nature, the cosmos. Next one. Well, this is a Villu Pato, which is very famous in our Trinamveli Jilla and the south of it among the Nadar community. And they, for them, Sudalai Mada Sami is one of the earliest heroes, fallen hero. Sudalai Mada Sami. Then Katavarayan, he is another fallen hero. They are the theme of the song. Again and again, the theme is not liberation of the self. It is the propitiation or the thanking the man who has saved the society and the provenance of South Tandar Valley, Tutukudi and the Kanyakumari. I hail from this Tutukudi. Evening by 7 o'clock, they will start this song. Then another, they will be very hefty, very, very handsome, dark in color. Oh, black beauty you have to see there. And they will start by 7 o'clock. Next to morning, up to 6 o'clock, it will be going on. There will be, there will be. No tiredness on the part of the players, nor on the listeners. They'll be listening to it. Okay. Next one. Well, these are a story telling. 
about metal we'll, we'll see it later no this is a, this is again a show. this is from a, a, a bell oilata a graceful martial dance to please the gods and the departed souls legitimate pride of the descendants of the heroes they are all those who are doing that i can't do and do it it is they because the lineage is the heroic lineage and his father did his grandfather did all of them are protectors again now we have to shift the women are the creators and men are the protectors the so called the higher status status to people in the people of higher strata in the name of refinement and uh, all of that they are full of haughtiness but the lawyer they are very humble but saturated courage will be there their their, their outcome out, uh, 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 the production will be very beautiful he said and 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 they collected there i met a man of 80 and the people of the village they said he is an excellent kumbhakara uh, player and i went and asked the gentleman i would like to see him with that i had a, a holy god camera i want to take a picture of that man abhi lama vaani rahe he will not play like that all any time in that fear a particular day that day he would propitiate the tree or the four fathers that day in the night i will take a, a, a bath and they make a puja to the kumbha then i take the moment i take i am not myself i become somebody else you can see the people our kind of thinking about them avaru ivare nilayila nikka maatar he cannot stand but the moment it is played then he starts dancing in such a way that it never falls avaru enna da kekidran thalaiya i think when i see it and you know at the age of 80 He, he used to say, I used to feel like a man of 25. Energy comes to me from somewhere. And the Avagha Guru Kura guy. Listen, Avagha Guru Kura guy, they give me my forefathers. Then he said, I am only a vessel, a receptacle, the power descends. I am transported to a different man. And he starts by 7 o'clock in the evening till the next morning, all throughout the night. no tiredness whatsoever see therefore the sacred everything is sacred but as i told in the morning some space is more sacred and some time is very sacred that's why naal nachatram parangal solrunga the conjunction of the planets or this or that so many things and the primitive the tamil people considered purnami is an excellent thing for propitiating the gods and amavasya for the for the departed souls that is there and uh, because tarigadal odi dravyam in north india has no sea and the sea oriented culture you can see quite a lot especially not all the tunnels the air you know now i i made lot of uh, field work with the mean barabas of, of the uh, east coast what an amount of information they have but nowadays in the name of uh, what about changing to other religion they are gradually giving a lot of loss i told them father i say ask them to retain their age old tradition let them bear the cross i mean wear the cross or bear the cross with them but the traditions they should not and then for the next day onwards i was in veerapan in patna for 10 years i never and uh, on my request uh, that father gave him the instruction and every home began to put up the polam in front of them i told the polam is a discovery of the uh, the sea shore people the mullai marlam neidal people and you are neither people you can't disown that i convinced him that was accepted by father the bishop of tuduguri okay well now next one sir ah uh, here mulai pali a prayer to mother nature not to the forefathers understand thinking of your forefathers is the masculine business the females they are concerned with the nature they want rain and prosperity and progeny i have not included that but you have been add that also progeny in the next so forefathers and progeny it's a long continuity that they are maintaining they are taking the mulai pari in all of them you can see i again and again say i have told it to my own people that's what i am sharing to you 
Vedas speak to that extent it is inferior. They don't speak, they communicate by action. Therefore, this is superior. Understand? Do you follow what I mean? Please excuse me to differ from me, but that is my. They never speak it. And, sir, they don't speak. But while dancing, they have a rhythm. The rhythm has a language of its own, a verbal. To maintain that rhythm, one older lady will say, Again, then you know, the song comes according to the chandam. And the chandam is the basic one. And we used to say, Vedas are called the chandas. But this chandam is the most throbbing with life. The old lady says, Tana na tana. And all the ladies, they dance accordingly and the moon. And here they are silently taking that seed sprouting. That is Mother Nature, a virgin, the virgin mother, and they are taking it to the water. And I need not say much about that. And it, it, it tests the quality of the rice also. From every family it is coming, and the, the quality of the family will be. And that, thereafter, this has been made as an indispensable, indispensable part of the ritual of the Brahminical tradition also. Brahmin did not know this. Later they have decorated Malaypari. That's why they say Malaypari. 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 Huh? Malaypari. 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 It has become universal. So they were, the given thing, the given thing has been universal. That's why the divisiveness, whenever it comes, it will join into my ear. Well, now, next one. Next one. Again, Adi Peruko, welcoming Mother Kaveri. For prosperity and progeny. And we see all the women and how and they feel. I told the uh, 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 by telling that we are accepting the greatness of Ganga because that's the archstick quadrator. And our Kaveri, the mother Kaveri during the Adi Purku, when the sun is in the uh, Tropic of Cancer, the 18th day from the day it touches the Tropic of Cancer, that day you will sit. See, Kaveri will be in flex. There will be plenty of rain in, the, rain in the catchment area in the Western Ghats. And you have, and the people think, Mother Kaveri is pregnant. The mother is every year becomes pregnant. <laughs> See? Huh? And you know, all, they are all her children. They are, she is our great, great, great grandmother. The grandchildren are also great, great grandchildren. Are giving food. Masakke in the she comes with the Vasakya and they are, you see for them, it is a living entity. It's a living entity, throbbing with life. In nature there is nothing which is dead. Everything has life. The dead means the body and soul have separated. The soul has, the body has merged with the mother here. The soul is just lingering somewhere, waiting for another body to be taken, that's all. Well, this is one of the beautiful things. Adi again welcoming Mother Nature, they are thinking of progeny. Next one. Here you see Adi and the Thayama was Adi is the month when the sun touches the tropic of Cancer, and the Thai is the month when the sun touches the tropic of Capricorn, the southern day. Those two times now you have one is the summer solstice. Adi is the summer solstice, and Thai is the winter solstice. And the early Tamil people. They had only four days, very important annually. For them, the most sacred days are four days in the year. One is these two solstice days, and then what is so equinox, Chitrai, and the direct opposite when sun is the Aries and the sun is in the Libra. Besides that, monthly, monthly, every Amavasa is very sacred for them. The Brahmins took it over from them. From the non brahmins it has been taken over and they added some mantra because for the mantra is more useful. This is what we call it a tantra. Tantra means a deed. Sayal Pradhana. This is the Sayal author. And here, men folk are to inca into again now. They are concerned. They are taking a dip in the cave to integrate the ancestors' soul with Mother Nature. Understand? 
summer solstice and winter solstice and this is the time. Next one, they are the same women folk propitiated the same Kaveri for the progeny. Here the men folk for the ancestors. They are making a prayer to the mother Kaveri. They don't wait for the results to be announced. The moment they think, most kind of potash are the way they are I mean, they are so assured of the cosmic order. I have entertained the mother nature. Mother nature will give whatever we want. There is no doubt. And we are all doubting Thomases. Every modern man is a doubting Thomas. What was not there in the ancient people, the primitive people, no doubt. I have done my duty. The invisible force of the cosmos will answer them. It is sure. Therefore, long before the answer comes, they are celebrating the success. This is their number one line. Better than more than that, DMK, DMK, all. Better than Nikhil, better than. After that, we are two people. No more. No more. We are independent. Our own just go. These people, you see, even if they are collateral, they are playing and very happily communicating with Mother Nature. Next one. Then Karaka comes. This Karaka comes is now. I have I have seen the men, women folk and interview, and some of them. The first time I had a sort of ecstatic joy, really leading to for a sort of a, I may even say consternation of my throat, the suffocation. I couldn't breathe, and uh, then I saw from two girls standing in front and from uh, our houses. There is I and my sisters, my father, and all of them. They were there, seeing that 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 the Kerala town was going. I was studying eighth standard. That was nineteen forty-seven. The ladies there. That's the first time I see that too. They were balancing the whole thing. Five or six Kerala one above the other, dancing, and that drum beating was going on. Correct rhythm. There was a rhythm. There was correct posture. The whole thing was there was an absolute harmony, and my soul for for a minute, second, I got totally integrated with it, and I forgot, and uh, tears began to flow down. I was sobbing. I couldn't breathe properly. Sobbing. Try. My two of my sisters. What happened to you? I couldn't answer. They ran with my father and said, "Anna, what did you do there?" He said, "He's enjoying totally." They are not, and those two girls are not to be already, but they were not humans. Transported in my vision as Mary Hansel, and she was balanced the whole cosmos on her. This is how, oh mother. Well, later, after becoming a professor in the university, I interviewed an old man and they asked, "What is the meaning of it?" Prabhu, this is what he said. Prabhu, ये तरह ये तरह वो सूर्य चंद्रा बुल्ला पर चल रहा है. He asked me, "So meteors is falling down? Does the sun and moon fall down? Mother is balancing. That is what we are doing here today. See, they are recreating the cosmic balance done by the mother nature. For the early man, it is not father God; it is mother, mother God. The Dravidian culture very strongly proves that. And the Shiva, Vishnu, all these know." Bakavadas, they are very dangerous. Yeah, really, it is mother. Therefore, to us, no Meenakshi is nearer to us. Naturally, Meenakshi is nearer to us. Well, sorry for my. <laughs> well, Karagatam, they are doing the same thing. The rhythm. The early man, I said the law. He didn't communicate verbally, but rhythmically. The silence, but there will be rhythm. Dun 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 dun. Then immediately they will start dancing. When my first son was in the states now, he was a small fellow. He was weeping and all that. I was to say, you made him weeping and dancing. Automatically, the children, you know, immediately it, it is they will fall into that wavelength. They react to that now. All that he had to do now, after boy, pretty, the devil man guy, as old as now, I'm sure. Ah, which we consider as very superior. It's nothing before these things. They are very sacred and great. Next one, Karagatam by masculine mentality. 
Here you have to see the men folk wearing the double cross. And only Murugan's statue will have that. Only Viran can do it. It is a symbol of heroism. Whenever you see and whenever you are drawing a hero, and the hero's body has to have one Enyo baby from the sister one, another from right to left, you know, that is called the Chanaviram. Chardana sir, Chanaviram dana, the Chanaviram is, that is a symbol of heroism. And all throughout India you can see, in Tamil Nadu that is very much there, they are all going to Badani. And the Badani Andavar is the only, I mean, only Murugan can wear that, not any other god. If there is a figure of a human being seated on the back of a white elephant at the top of a temple with only Yagnavavidam, he said, I mean, he is the Yendra. If he has a Channavira mark, so that is Murugan. These are all the identification marks. So they are, and you can see the way he is moving, you see, the body, the figure. They are all restless, very erotic. And the moment you see them, you feel, ah, we are in the same time. Nothing bad will happen to us. These fellows will take us. Everybody will feel that is the highly heroic. The moment I have seen such things in person and I have felt ecstatic. I felt very ecstatic. Next one. The God, I mean the divine, all pervasive divine. There is no temple whatsoever. The cosmos is the temple. That is the signality. Your communication with it is sacred. Everywhere is a sacred. Now, for the first time, humans try to locate the sacredity in one particular spot on a tree. This tree worship is very late. After the settled life, we have a any tree nearby, and tree is a tangible one, but its worship and the rituals are intangible. They are coming around. Now, the all pervasive divine has been localized. There starts the degeneration. There starts the further degeneration when you are putting a statue. And further when you are consulting a temple. Understand? These are all expression of the ego of the man. They are all the expression of the heroism and integral love of the man. And when we, was, we started constructing churches and the temples and the and having a priest and then a year for priest and hate the year and deny the God, destroy the temple, all are happening. First, Islam, the very meaning is love, peace. What is happening? Wahhabism. They are they are they are upholding the concept of Gila. Where are we going? Man is today intellectually is becoming a giant. But spiritually the primitive man is a giant. Today we are all pygmies. We are gods. You may have the costliest dress, the costliest watch, the costliest car, etc. But we cease to be humans now. Or we are surrounded a little bit of love for our own kin and kin and hatred for all. Where are we going? Go back. I say intellectually you can go forward, materially you can make all these things, but there is no need for you to give it up. You can also take that with you. Am I making the point clear, sir? Never give up your ancestral property and its a repository, its a protectors or the common man on the street whom you call as illiterate. They are the protectors of the real spirit of your religion. Humanism is dead with us. It is alive and throbbing with life even now. It is integrating. Understand? Well, next one, sir. Next one. Well, but however, annually having made that a tree to the center of their settlement, once a year, they propitiate that tree with the Karahatam, we call Kudrai. Understand? And now, first step, God is everywhere. Second step, God is in the tree. In my village tree, that is my village deity. Every year I will go to my village to propitiate. Otherwise, I feel that I have done some committed something wrong. It is the fear that propels me to go there, not love. Today we go to the temple and they make a couple of the fear. 
understand what is the dominant it is something like sir this lecture is purely a self examination of man what we are where we stand today and what we should do where should we go what should we not give up well now and again and again i will tell you all the, this is being done on a stage that's not the right place this has to be done on the particular place the particular day you have to go all the way there to see that and come back no kasi yatra the nearest village you having a function where they are doing like from today let us take a vow to make a list of the such of events happening around we can make a groups go to our village we can join go there see that and certainly every one of us will have the experience about which i was describing when i saw the karahata that thrill you cannot get it if it is done here here when he does he will whistle understand he feels intoxicated by the whistle it is not a divine intoxication pride it gives that the intoxication and you know this again is the far far here we are commercializing you are bringing to the stage of the commercial life let it happen because they need some income let them but the best way where you have to see it is etrana the patara the kalyana thanneke the maapley mottey poi paakkum bodhu namakku avarku yerpada sandoshatha marnaal kadaikuma adalla the moment the moment the place and the time that is very very important space and time here this i am showing here to show that original apata kaveri la thanni uttada paathom we saw mother kaveri well here on this stage this is again you know and every time you see that you not only see the performance but the ambience and how degenerated they are next one yes now god is everywhere god is in the tree okay now man goes and searches for god in hell your forefathers found out this tree they put up the column in front they did not go to the column it was a little very late in the story understand and they go in such a but they have not left out their traditional way of entertaining the god they carry the kavadi and go and they is not the god who is venerable their devotion is venerable i don't go to temple at the least thing unless kaga park is describe the sculptures and the inscription with it they go to for me god is everywhere except inside the temples madurai minachi is all over madurai except in minachi temple uh, excuse me but we have to think of lovely like that that is what you are did you are willing to listen to me no listen to me also <laughs> okay now they are going without any slippers whatsoever it is a penance which you and i cannot do even in its degenerated form it is far superior to the one we are following in our temple understand relative to what i saw showed you earlier this is a degeneration from searching for god outside your village Out of your sky, what had happened to you, man? I have become fool. But still, your devotion, the way it is, still better. You can say at least they walk. Next one, next one. You see, this is the way he goes. He goes there. Really, he goes there. And you now he has forgotten himself. Ecstatically, this forgetfulness, self-abnegation, total self-abnegation. now we are full of self aggrandizement and ego the direct opposite of it is yoga yoga he says yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha what is yoga your chitta when you totally the ego the personality is dissolved you become one with nature then you are in yoga he is the greatest yogi there is no need for sanskrit or tamil or and puja See, he takes it, moves it, and he goes to the ecstasy. 
No language can give you this ecstasy process. He is going ecstatically and you can see the smile on his face. Do you see? Is it visible there? It's the ecstatic smile. He looks like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa to me. He may be a car to pull somewhere or a car driver. Understand? But he looks like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. And I was working in Aditana College in Tirichodur for 10 years. All the 10 years I used to go and stand in before them at the crossroads. Whenever the boys and girls they go with the family, I used to go and touch them okay, and come back home. Totally satisfied. For me, God is not there. The God is the here. The person who is carrying the cavity, he is the personification of the divine. Understand? And the law. And this is a picture I love most. The ancient Tamil tradition of pilgrimage, the Morgan's about dancing with the cavity sindhu. The cavity sindhu and the cavity sindhu is a later one. Actually, that's the therapy. It is only the communication, you know. Verbal communication is not a good communication, whether people is Vedas or Tirupuhal, no. The best one of the communication for them, it gives the vibration to you, establishes the inner vibration, and the transports immediately is that. That's that. And you now, this much you now, and I'll, I'm carrying coal to Newcastle. Already you may have all uh, 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 enjoyed that. But when we are saying about that and we, we, we appreciate its quality and the thirst we develop in us to have, uh, what do you call, to see them, to interact with them. Well, the interaction, we are seeing the interaction, not with it. We are seeing, next one, here, Paul Kavadi. Women folk. What is that? Not for the forefathers. It is for the progeny. For the new kids know about the progeny. And they are all going. And everyone is a Minachi. Everyone is a Kamachi. You have to see the divine in the living people at that point of time. When they are carrying and going. Well, next one. Even if he is my enemy's son, they, are, they look like Shiva and the Parvati. So every yeah, Vaishnava is Krishna and Rukmani, or Daya and Vekatajara uh, Vidhutajya. So it is not, wedding is not a, what you call a, a, a social ceremony. Again it is a divine one. Here you see, he goes to meet Murugan on Taipusa. Many of you may not have seen, you may not have seen, they, they pierce it. They don't feel the pain because for them, there is no such thing as pain. Pain is a matter of the mind. Body can be subjected to any amount of torture provided your mind is attuned to the absolute. Two examples I will take. One, I say, a young boy, he, he, he is pressure loving. He cannot even bear even smallest pain in life. Sitting and reading, suddenly he feels a pinch, someone pinches him. Shrieks, turns there. Long absent lady love, the girl has come and given the speech. Now tell me if it's a pain or a pleasure. Asara, <laughs> number one. Number two, a man, he thought he was the son of God. He cured the lepers and the prayer and got the sights for the people. Ultimately, and the, the priestly class there, they crucified him on the cross. And driving the nails, the body here and there, blood was oozing out. They were hitting the nails, excruciating pain it will be. But he said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they are doing. Excellence of the highest level a man's mind can reach is on that point. In the whole of history, I have yet to come across a situation where a man has wholeheartedly hardened him. Shout and he was in communion with his father in heaven. He speak to him. See, what an excellent. You know, all literature you cannot find out now. In history, there is one even which is far superior to all literature, all imagination. Now, this man must have felt like that. He is in tune with the Murugan and he doesn't feel the pain. And the society is safe with him. He is Murugan. Understand? Next one. Well, Madurai Chitra festival, 
God another comes. God another is a hero too. The hero comes on the back of your understand. And the he is called the Kannada head. The greatest thief is that Krishna, the Buddha thief. He comes to Madurai, not as a Vishnu. The Vishnu is in heaven. It is a long distance, there is a gap between man and God. But when he descends on the earth, he comes so close to us. And even if you are not willing to take him to your house, he steals into your house. Yeah, the accession to the house somehow or other. Steals your birth and it is very meaningful. He steals your heart. Understand? He is the, and he comes here to Madurai like here. And in Yamuna, he had all the Yadava friends with him, the Bopas and Gopis. And there he used to splash water on them. And the boys and girls in return splashed water on that God. The God who is not available to the Brahmin, who cannot go near, he has to stand at a distance. For them, the God was not only available, he was playing with them with the splashing water. That is soul of him. There are two important ideas in our culture, in, in, in Saiva literature. Third thought could, I will go for some wrong. But God out of grace, he stops me and turns me towards the right direction. That is not called it. It's the supreme level in the Sainism of Tamils. And he, he is a soul of him. He is so easily available. Patram dushpam phalam toyam. You don't have anything. Take your leaf and say, Krishna, this is for you. I am totally satisfied. So it is called the soul of him. Sulava maha karetas. It is called the soul of him. He is coming on the back of your heart. Like, and his color community, they are all heroic martial days. Those fellows are expecting. And now you can see the next one. This is next one. Then what, uh, what uh, an ecstatic reception to give. You see, the people, the colors are now, they are splashing water in the pump. The pump is a picture of the girls. Can you say splashing? They are splashing water on, on him because here there is no water in my way. This guy is not of water. It is a dusty water. Yes, that's what you have given us. We are returning the problem of the food. Give us food, they give us good water. Next year you will get good water. See, this relationship between man and God is unimaginable. You want to give the best of him to him. And the problem man, what is available, what you have given, I am giving him back. That's all. And now, and next to it, they can see. Alaga said, friends, how? <laughs> and these fellows are all his uh, friends. And you know, they are recreating the old age. It happened long, long ago, somewhere in North India. Now, Madurai becomes Mathura. And the Vaigai becomes Yamuna that day. And all the people are contemplating with the Lord. Because it is again and again happening. If he doesn't come, he doesn't deserve, he will make him. Now, God is everywhere. Then the second level of degeneration, bringing God to the tree. Third, going in search of God to the hilltop. Third one, that to piercing. Now God is satisfied. Don't pierce. Don't come in search of me. I will come in search of you. This is the reply. Understand? The coming advent of Vishnu to Madurai is the most sacred moment for the people of Madurai. Even I have seen some of the Muslim friends of mine and the Christian friends of mine. They are going and awaiting to receive him. And then he comes, I have seen him taking the kerchief and wiping out. No communication whatsoever. They see, enjoy. The Lord comes to our house. And so for us now, divine is everywhere. That's ecstasy. And I love these fellows. They are most superior than all the Brahmins who have studied in Vedas and all the old ones who have studied in Vedas. And all the Vaishnavites, they are the simple folk. It is in this simplicity, humility is dwelling. All these are all Aravas. What we are doing in the name of temple with big bell and big with the Naiti and the long Garuda with the water, they are all Aravaram. But that Aravaram will not carry you a fraction of the truth, the, the wine which is being communicated by this simplest thing. Therefore, the loftiness is there in the simplicity and worthlessness in this. You are what you call the farm plant legend. Next one. Well, then Lord Krishna has come to our place. We imprison him, like putting the Bhagavad into the cage. 
A temple is a cage into which you put him and make a Abhishek of next one. Then we entertain him. Again, in our own way, rich people we are, educated people we are, we have to entertain suitable to our status, you know, then we are putting huge radar. But if you ask the guard between the two, which you enjoy, there is a story. They got a road festival, they bought some of this is taken from the artist in the Yasirvar. Which you want to take? Huh? Next one. Yes, follow Navaratri. Again in Navaratri, the nine days. And this will with this one film we can take one full hour to describe, therefore we are focused on some other day. Mother God. How did he do such a come to your house? She is in the temple, Kamachi, Vinachi, all the gods of the law. They will have to come to your house and to sing the type of song you are singing. It may have Swaram or Abal Swaram. But she enjoyed it. Because when the child's pranks, don't we enjoy? We think we are great, but before them we are children. Okay, and Mother Goddess comes to her house in the clay. There is no Avagana, there is no Ayyar, there is no Puja, but the woman for they call the mother comes. The Kori is one of the excellent things in our Indian temple. Similar things there in Japan and other countries also. I mean, we can't say we are the only people. The same thing in a different form will prevail everywhere. Mankind is the same everywhere. Well, next one. Well, then, Kola comes with a martial flavor. And uh, in Veerapandi and Patna, all the in the Veerapandi and the seafarers, they are all very varied by people. Here they want the place polar come and the movement will be that of the warrior. And the same here, there is a martial flavor. Here this is a philosophical flavor. Here you can see this is Krishna, this is a gopi. This is a Krishna, that is a gopi. Take a question. And there is a beautiful verse. It is in Tamil also, but I know one verse which comes to my memory. Angana, Angana, Antare, Antare and Bidwin. Angana means a girl. A girl and girl in between Krishna, Madhava. Madhava, Madhava, Chantare, Changana. Between a Krishna and another Krishna. Kittama Kalpitema. That he makes it, makes a circle. And we are propitiating him by game play, dance and all that. God not only comes here, he joins us, he entertains and returns the compliment. And you know, what a beautiful concept. So, certain things you know, which we at times tend to overlook. But if you stand and stare, we can derive <coughs> much more meaning in them rather than what has been said so far. Next one. Well, then they are searching for the God everywhere, in the temple, in a distant hill. Then the God comes to our village. Okay, on the back of your house. Similarly, everywhere in the village, then he enters into you. Finally, you will have to find out the divine within. Ullam perum kovil, unudambu alayam, mallal pirankri vai gopura vasal, tella tadivarki, jivan shivaningam. You need not go in search of any great lingam. The best of the lingam is within you. Tell the Tarivarki, Jeevan, Jeevan no will. Your soul is the Shiva Lingam. Tell the Pura Naitum, Kala Mani Vilakke. What you consider are people taking you downward, the Pura Naitum, they are enlightening you and shedding light on the divine worship. This is all. Then, here he is in the yoga, he is in the yoga, they see the divine within, the divine is within. So divine is everywhere and divine is within. That is how our culture is going on. Next one. Yes. Symbols of inner modernities. What a poem is to the forefront of your poem, denoting the cosmic orderliness. These adornments on the forehead are to the forehead of the living beings. This is the inner orderliness and its visual representation. It is a poem. This is where we are putting and for meditation and all that. And this is a Kali Oil Pusari and his wife. Everybody you can see, they have their mark. Loaded with meaning. And when the people from abroad they ask about that, 
we have to tell there is a correlation between column as an order in the in front of the home as well as the order in the simple here. And here the meditation is going to be added in meditation. Next again. Next one. Yes. One touch of nature. We are going far away from divinity because we are going far away from nature. Our life is full of artificiality. So not natural. One touch of nature makes the whole world kill by Shakespeare and Troilus and Benjita. The very famous statement, the third act and the third scene is one statement. And you see, and he is looking at him, oh God! You see the picture? He looks at you say God you know, and you see the whole sky cosmos. We began with the cosmos and we end with this cosmos exactly. And if God is replying to you, yes, I am here. This orderliness, it is not only order, it is a perfect arc. And more than that, with your number of colors, it makes life happy. Everything around is white. In my, the whole thing, the cloud, the sky, the cloud, the, the, the mountains, the virtue, the animals, the men, all of them in tune with one. And a violin may have a number of strings, but all of them have to work in unison to become a harmonious music. World is a music. The cosmos is a music. We are propitiating the power behind that which is in us this way. Next one. What is their message? The entire cosmos is divine. Selfless sacrifice or heroism is divine. Time and space enable our divinity manifest more brilliantly. Understand that on the, on the, uh, the day of uh, what do you call a uh, 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 full moon day, that comes on the same month. Chitra Bhavarani comes on the same year. But that, that the time and the space, you know, you go to the river, river, where two rivers come, come to end, where there is a hill with a water spot, where the river is completely for the sea, these are all the very sacred places, hilltop and all that, and the time is the full moon day. Now, time and space enable our divinity manifest more brilliantly. Our intangible heritage propagates, they are silently propagating this concept and perpetuates these values. Whatever we have been speaking now is about the primitive man's value offered on a platter to us. It is up to imbibe them. And these values, please encourage your children to enjoy such a heritage of other regions. Never say it is something exclusive. No. Better thing is you can see there. And they can see the better thing in us. Understand? The other regions of India and of other nations too. The world is becoming a global village. Let love bind us all. Let love, ego, let, when the ego is totally disappeared from us, then love, the heart is filled with love. Next one. Yes, thank you. You see, if they can live together this way, why can't we? If they can enjoy that way, why can't we? Thank you.